Hey everyone, I want to talk about when purchasing bank repossessions or foreclosures. Now, in our experience, obviously, you know, you walk through, you make thing, you make sure things are structurally, you know, well and good. Um, but when I, you know, in our experience, when we have actually purchased bank repos, I'm going to give you, you know, what have been our biggest expenses and what have been the biggest, uh, you know, hiccups or the biggest, oh, we didn't see that. So now we're going to spend a lot of money to fix it. Plumbing. Plumbing is always an issue, right? It's behind the walls. You can't see it. You know, you're going to have to replace a stack once in a while, which isn't cheap. You know, it's an old cast iron stack. So plumbing has been an expensive one. Electrical. I've purchased buildings where everything looked good. You know, the, the electrical, uh, sorry, the, the uh, uh, wiring that we could see was good. And then when we pulled the drywall off and, and opened up the walls, there was actually knob and tube and aluminum behind the wall. So it appeared to be okay but you never know what you're getting in a bank repo. Now, the other thing too has been asbestos, right? Sometimes you'll open up walls and you'll start to see asbestos. So when calculating things with bank repos, uh, foreclosure, foreclosures, that type of thing, you don't really get any uh, past history on the house. It's mostly just, you know, the bank wants a very minute uh, conditions and sometimes you end up buying a little bit of a, of a bee's nest. So, Electrical, you know, you might have to replace some wiring. So just take that into consideration. Plumbing, you might have to replace plumbing and a stack. Take that into consideration and just maybe have uh, asbestos removal also as a consideration, guys. So in our experience, those have been the three biggest uh, hiccups and headaches with bank repossession, buying bank repossessions. <laughs>